Hello and welcome back to Learning English Pro. My name is Jer, your online tutor and guide. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of computer science with 50 essential terms that every beginner should know. This video was actually requested by several of you, so I knew it was time to put together something special for all the tech enthusiasts out there. Whether you're just starting your journey in coding, dabbling in data analysis, or simply curious about what makes the digital world tick, these terms are your first stepping stones. To get the most out of this lesson, I recommend grabbing a notebook, or better yet, opening a new file and jotting down these terms with their definitions and sentence examples. Repetition is key when learning new vocabulary, so don't hesitate to rewatch the video as many times as you need. Each term comes with a clear definition and sample sentence to help you understand how it's used in context, making it easier to remember and apply. If this video goes well, I'm planning to make a whole series on computer science topics, so your feedback is super important. And hey, if you're a real computer science whiz, maybe you can help me out with a little algorithm of your own by liking, sharing, and getting those views up. Who knows, maybe we'll even outsmart the YouTube algorithm altogether. Just kidding, or am I? All right, let's jump in and get started with these terms. Let's start with the basics. Understanding these foundational concepts is crucial for anyone beginning their computer science journey. These terms are the building blocks of everything from writing simple code to grasping more advanced topics down the line. Algorithm An algorithm is a set of step-by-step -step instructions designed to perform a specific task. Let's check out our sample sentence. The software engineer wrote an algorithm to sort the customer data efficiently. Binary. A binary is a number system that only uses two digits, zero and one, which are the foundation of all computing. Computers process information in binary, translating everything into zeros and ones. Bug. A bug is an error or flaw in software that causes it to behave unexpectedly or crash. The developer spent hours fixing a bug that caused the program to crash. Compilation. A compilation is the process of converting human readable code into machine code that a computer can execute. Before running the program, the code must go through compilation. Our next term is CPU or a central processing unit. This is the primary component of a computer that performs most of the processing inside a computer. The CPU is often referred to as the brain of the computer. Our next term is data structure. A data structure is a specialized format for organizing and storing data. Arrays and linked lists are common data structures in computer science. Debugging. Debugging is the process of finding and fixing bugs or errors in a program. Debugging is a critical skill for any software developer. Function. A function is a block of organized, reusable code that performs a single action. The print function displays output on the screen. Loop. A loop is a sequence of instructions that repeats until a certain condition is met. Loops are used in programming to perform repetitive tasks efficiently. Syntax. 
Syntax is the set of rules that define the structure of a programming language. If you don't follow the correct syntax, the program won't run. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into some programming fundamentals. These terms will help you understand how to write and organize code effectively. Whether you're just starting to code or want to brush up on your skills, mastering these concepts is a must. Variable. A variable is a storage location paired with an associated name used to hold data that can be changed during program execution. Variables are essential for storing values that a program needs to function. Array. An array is a data structure that holds a collection of items, typically of the same data type, in an indexed order. An array can store multiple values, like a list of numbers or strings. Our next term is object-oriented programming, or OOP. This is a programming paradigm based on the concept of objects, which contain data and methods. Java is a language that supports object-oriented programming. Class. Class is a blueprint for creating objects in object-oriented programming. In Python, a class defines the structure and behavior of an object. Let's move on to inheritance. Inheritance is a feature of object-oriented programming where a class derives properties and behavior from another class. Inheritance allows for code reusability by extending existing classes. Polymorphism. Polymorphism is the ability of different classes to be treated as instances of the same class through inheritance. Polymorphism allows a function to operate on objects of different types. Encapsulation. Encapsulation is the practice of keeping the data and methods of an object private and only exposing necessary parts. Encapsulation helps protect the internal state of an object. IDE or Integrated Development Environment is a software application that provides comprehensive facilities for coding, debugging, and testing. Popular IDEs like Visual Studio and PyCharm make coding more efficient. Library. A library is a collection of pre-written code that developers can use to optimize tasks. Using a library saves time by providing ready-made functions and classes. An API or application programming interface is a set of protocols and tools for building and interacting with software applications. Developers use APIs to allow different software systems to communicate. Ready to take it up a notch? In the next section, we'll explore some advanced concepts that are shaping the future of technology. These terms might sound complex, but don't worry, I'll break them down so they're easy to grasp, even if you're not new to the field. First up, we have machine learning. Machine learning is a field of AI that involves teaching computers to learn and make decisions based on data. Machine learning algorithms are used in recommendation systems like Netflix and Amazon. Big data. Big data is extremely large data sets that can be analyzed computationally to reveal patterns and trends. 
Big data is crucial for companies to make data-driven decisions. Cloud computing. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services over the internet, such as storage, processing, and networking. Companies use cloud computing to store a large amount of data securely. Blockchain. A blockchain is a decentralized distributed ledger that records transactions across many computers. Blockchain technology is the foundation of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Cyber security. Cyber security is the practice of protecting systems, networks and programs from digital attacks. Cybersecurity measures are essential to protect sensitive data from hackers. Data mining. Data mining is the process of discovering patterns and relationships in large data sets. Data mining is used to extract valuable information from big data. Encryption. Encryption is the process of converting data into a code to prevent unauthorized access. Encryption ensures that sensitive information is secure during transmission. Firewall. A firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing traffic based on predetermined security rules. A firewall is essential for protecting a network from unauthorized access. Operating System or OS. This is software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs. Windows, Mac OS and Linux are popular operating systems. Next up, we have Virtual Machine or VM. This is a software-based simulation of a computer that runs an operating system and applications just like a physical computer. Virtual machines allow developers to test software in different environments. Next up is web development, a critical area of computer science that powers everything you see and interact with online. We'll go over the essential terms you need to know whether you're building a simple website or working on a more complex web application. HTML or Hypertext Markup Language. This is the standard language used to create and design web pages. HTML is the foundation of any web page, defining its structure. CSS or Cascading Style Sheets. These are a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of a document written in HTML. CSS is used to style and layout web pages, making them visually appealing. JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language that allows you to implement complex features on web pages like dynamic content updates, interactive forms, and animations. JavaScript adds interactivity to web pages, making them more engaging. Responsive design. Responsive design is a web design approach that makes web pages render well on a variety of devices and window sizes. Responsive design ensures that websites look good on both desktop and mobile devices. Backend development. Backend development is the server side development that focuses on databases, scripting, and website architecture. Backend development involves working on servers, databases, and APIs. Front-end development. 
Front-end development is the client-side development that focuses on everything that users visually see and interact with on a website. Front-end developers use HTML, CSS and JavaScript to create the user interface. Our next term is one we've already used in this lesson, database. A database is an organized collection of data that can be accessed, managed and updated. MySQL is a popular database management system used in web development. Full stack development. Full stack development relates to a developer who is proficient in both front end and back end development. Full stack developers can handle both the client side and server side of an application. Version control. Version control is a system that records changes to a file or set of files over time, so you can recall specific versions later. Git is a popular version control system used by developers to manage code. Framework. Framework is a pre-built set of tools or libraries that help developers build applications faster. React is a popular JavaScript framework for building user interfaces. Finally, let's talk about software development. This is where all your coding skills come together to create functional, efficient and user friendly applications. We'll cover key terms that are essential for anyone interested in the software development process. Agile. Agile is a methodology for software development that promotes flexibility, collaboration and customer satisfaction. Agile practices allow development teams to adapt quickly to changing requirements. Scrum. Scrum is a framework used in agile development to manage work through a process of continuous feedback and improvement. Scrum teams work in short sprints to deliver incremental improvements. DevOps. DevOps is a set of practices that combine software development and IT operations to shorten the development life cycle. DevOps aims to automate and streamline the process of software delivery. Repository. A repository is a central location where code is stored, managed and shared. Developers use a Git repository to manage and collaborate on code. Continuous integration or CI. This is the practice of merging all developers working copies to a shared mainline several times a day. Continuous integration ensures that new code integrates smoothly with the existing project. Continuous deployment or CD. This is an approach to software releases in which updates are automatically deployed to production after passing tests. Continuous deployment allows for rapid, reliable delivery of software updates. Microservices. Microservices is an architectural style that structures an application as a collection of small, autonomous services modeled around a business domain. Microservices enable developers to build and deploy features independently. Containerization. Containerization is a lightweight form of virtualization that involves encapsulating an application and its dependencies into a container. Docker is a popular tool for containerization, making it easier to deploy applications. Scalability. Scalability is the ability of a system to handle increased load by adding resources. A scalable system can grow efficiently as demand increases. 
User Interface, or UI. This is the point of interaction between the user and a digital device or software. Good UI design is crucial for ensuring a positive user experience. And there you have it, 50 essential computer terms that will help you navigate the tech world with confidence. Whether you're coding, managing data, or just curious about how things work behind the screen, these terms are the foundation of your journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Learning English Pro for more educational content. And as always, keep learning English like a pro.